Hi, <laughs> welcome to my kitchen once again. Um, I have had so many people requesting that I make the blueberry bread that I had made in a past video that I do the video on how to make that bread. I did it in 2018. Um, I didn't have the time or the nerve to go back and watch that one to see if it was decent enough or not. So I just decided I would go ahead and make it again because, you know, I, I would take one for the team and eat that bread again, you know? Someone's gotta do it. It's so good. The original recipe is called blueberry tea bread. I'm guessing they're expecting you to have it with tea. There's no tea in it. Um, but yeah, anyway, I have mine with coffee, but you do you. Let's go. We're gonna make the topping and I do that first to sort of get it out of the way and ready for when I need it and that would be one tablespoon of margarine you use the other half of the, the other part of the one stick in the rest of the recipe so you cut off one tablespoon and that goes on the topping this is two tablespoons of sugar this is a half a teaspoon of cinnamon one tablespoon of chopped almonds and two tablespoons of flour and you'll put that together in a bowl and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, one thing I wanna mention is it's really great if you have a pastry cutter. You don't have to have it, but it does really help a lot. Like I'm, <laughs> it does really help a lot. If you don't have a pastry cutter, um, you can use two forks to try to like smush all the ingredients together. It's the, you're trying to incorporate all that stuff with that margarine and that's the problem. Um, you can use two knives, you know, constantly. Or, or, or I found it's just good to really wash well and smush it around and get it all incorporated with your fingers or you could use um, rubber gloves, whatever makes you happy. So let's add the stuff together. I find it easiest to, if I'm, <laughs> you're down here. I find it easiest to kind of make this into different like smaller chunks first. So let's do that first. I'm just making it smaller, smaller pieces. Add those little pieces to the bowl. And then add your other things, your tablespoon of chopped almonds or slivered almonds, two tablespoons of white sugar, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, gluten-free or regular, either way it works. For, this, for the purposes here, I'm just gonna say flour and uh, half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then I usually use my pastry cutter just because it just sort of helps incorporate. So what you're trying to do is get these, see the butter all wants to stick in here. You need to get all that to get stay off of this <laughs> and into this. So this is what you want it to look like once it's in this kind of a incorporated form. Just set it aside, you'll use it at the very end. Now let's get all of our other ingredients together and ready to put together into the bread. So this is what you'll need to make the bread part. You're going to need two teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, three cups of flour, one and a half cups of sugar, and this is the rest of that stick of margarine, so you're going to be using a total one stick, and then we, we cut off one tablespoon of it to use for the topping. So the rest of the stick, you have one cup of milk, one tablespoon of vanilla, one large egg, one and a half cups of um, blueberries rinsed and cleaned very well, 
and that is what you'll need. And just I use just a hand mixer. You can use whatever kind of mixer you want, but it gets pretty thick and heavy. So I would use a mixer of some sort if you can, otherwise have strong arms. So let's put this together. You'll need a loaf pan and some cooking spray, and I use coconut oil. One cup of milk. One tablespoon of vanilla. And the one large egg. Now our dry ingredients, three cups of flour, one and a half cups sugar, two teaspoons baking powder, half a teaspoon salt, and then again, I cut my the rest of my margarine up into um, smaller squares to put in here because you're doing that same thing where you have to kind of like get it all incorporated and not let them be, you know, staying in those chunks. Make sure you preheat your oven to 350, by the way. And I just use my toaster oven for this. I don't want to heat up my entire larger one. And the one loaf pan fits perfectly in there, so that's what I do. But anyway, 350. like that. Now comes the part where you fold the blueberries into the batter without breaking up the blueberries. Otherwise the whole batter turns purple. So that's what we're going to do next. We're almost there. We're almost ready to bake this thing. Okay. I just generally put some on top, about half, and fold them in by doing this. Okay. rest. Then you add your crumbled topping on the top. <laughs> so 
So then it's ready to go in the oven at 350 degrees for one hour and 20 minutes. I'm not kidding. It's an hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> Here we go. And we wait. 40 minutes to go. And this is what it looks like. I made myself a cup of coffee. So yeah, I'm excited. So let's try this. I really want you guys to try this though. Everyone who's tried it, at least that I know of, who've let me know, say that everybody in their families have loved it. So, mm. Mm. I wish I could give you some. Make it for yourself and let me know what you think. So thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. I look forward to hearing how you feel about this if you make it. And uh, yeah, let me know. Thanks again. Bye.